Now, as we were talking about earlier, distance isn't really the key, it's velocity. In fact, it's not even velocity, it is delta V. This is what governs space, this is what the lingo is, this is what you're going to hear constantly if you become a professional learning about traveling in space. Yes, so that's the Greek letter, a capital delta, sort of a triangle. Yep. Um, and delta is math speak for change, change. in. Yep. And V is velocity. So we're talking about the change in velocity relative to going into space. Yes. So uh, as you said, this is what professionals will always talk about. They won't ask about how many million kilometers miles no. or what is the way they'll ask about it. What's the what is the delta, delta V, v of the craft? That's what, right. What's the delta V to get from the International Space Station to the Hubble Space Telescope? What's the delta V to go from the Earth to geostationary right. orbit or whatever it might be? Because as we'll see in a bit, this is what your rocket has to produce. Yes. What rockets do is change velocity. And so this is going to tell you what rocket you need, how much fuel you need. And what you can carry. And yeah. what you can carry. So you can get tables of delta V to move around the solar system. Okay. Now you probably can't read this, it's probably a bit small, so let's zoom in on a little bit of it here. So for example, if you start at the Earth's surface, which is over here, yep. it'll tell you it's 9256 meters per second delta V. So that's the delta V you need to, to get go from the Earth to, to, low Earth to a low Earth orbit. orbit. Yep. And then you need a, a, another, so you need that's, you know, 9.2 kilometers a second. That's Orbital a speed in low Earth orbit is about seven and a half kilometers a second. Yep. So it's basically about two kilometers a second to get up there and about seven kilometers a second to go fast enough to stay in orbit. Right. Adds up to about nine kilometers per second. This is not kilometers per hour. This is it's kilometers, kilometers per, per second. second. Yes. So that's pretty fast. Then if you're in low Earth orbit, you need about another two and a half kilometers a second. To get to that geostationary orbit we talked that's about. Let's get to a geostationary transfer orbit. That's uh, the orbit that carries you out towards it, like we saw the, that's right. the transfer orbit to Mars. And then when you get there, you're going to need another 1.4 kilometers a second match into, to, to match into that yes. orbit. Or you can go to a moon transfer orbit, Earth escape orbit, Mars transfer orbit. So say if we're going all the way to Mars, we need the, we get delta V, this one, and then this one then this one, then essentially that one to go to that one, 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 to land on Mars. Yes. So you're going to have to change your velocity multiple times. That's a lot. By a lot of, <laughs> lot of kilometers per second. Can I be yeah, Nine, two kilometers a second, half a kilometer a second, uh, point one, another half, another third, another third, another half, three and a half. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, you'd probably just, you'd get them to low Earth orbit. Or you might even launch yes. straight into some sort of transfer yes. orbit, and then you uh, so you have a big burn there. You might go into orbit just stabilize, make sure your space craft's working, talk to everything, and then have a big fire of your rockets, or try and do it all yes. in one go to bring it to a Mars transfer orbit. That's right. And then you'll just switch your rockets off and glide for a while, maybe the occasional little course correction to make sure you're bang on track, and then you have a whole bunch of firing to slow yourself down That's or right. speed yourself up to bring yourself into orbit around Mars. So, and you can use these sort of charts. You just add them up to get. Anywhere really. So yep. this, okay. This is this is how professionals think of the solar system. They don't think about how far away Pluto is, because often, for example, um, the delta V needed to get to Mercury is actually worse than the delta V needed to get to Pluto. Mm. So Pluto is much further away. That's right. But it's you know, the sun's gravity is weaker up there. You don't have to fight so much That's to right. get there, and the velocity change is not so big. Whereas right, so you're Mercury, going down here, you're fighting the sun's gravity, which is that delta V plus, then to get over to Mercury. What well, you're finding it's helping you. It's making you yeah. go far, 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 fast. Far too fast, so you're going to have to spend a lot of rocket slowing yourself down enough. You have to speed up enough to get Mercury, which is going really fast in the orbit, but also slow down enough to rendezvous with it. Whereas Pluto, you can kind of cruise out, and that's not going to be a problem. Right, so this is what we think about. Yep. When